Hey there, we are at the Goodwill, and I'm not sure where I am. <laughs> I am uh, was on my way to Atwater Village and coming back. Um, I have no idea. This is off of um, Colorado, maybe? I have no idea. Anyway, um, fake Prada. <laughs> I just wanted to show it to you, just in terms of authentication. I mean, there's literally nothing you can do with fake Prada. Like, nothing. Um... You know, support yourself. Um, I knew right away the quality was off, the quality of the cotton, and I knew right away that um, this was faux leather. The stitching is off. They do not put try things like dry clean on here. They do not put this kind of tag on here. Oh, not authentic. There you go. Not authentic. Didn't see that. So. And this clearly is off by this um, stitching. You see how it's all messed up in the hardware. So this is, these are all things to help you understand that it's not real. And then the internal tags. Um, you can tell right there. Cheap uh, zipper sticking out. Churl tag. Yeah. These things. Um, I think the biggest most important thing a person can do in understanding luxury is literally go to the stores or go online um, because I have been a shopper my for decades and so I know the quality the feel the texture the tags all of that just from first-hand experience as someone who's bought Prada etc but there's really nothing you can do with a fake Prada dress other than wear it yourself you can't resell it you can't rent it um, it's super cute, but um, sadly, even for $50, this is just for someone who wants to wear it themselves and enjoy it. Just wanted to show you that uh, quality is all off, stitching is all off, the tags are off, everything is wrong. <laughs> so, and yet they still want 50 bucks. And what's interesting is that they're selling it when they shouldn't be. We should be putting that in the trash or in the bins. You're not even the best supposed to put it in the trash. So, um, it is not, doesn't say Prado, so it's trying to be Prada. So, that's the problem. So, yeah. So, I just wanted to show you that. Um, this I really like is the suede, uh, clearly vintage suede jacket from the 60s or 70s. Has all of its buttons. And it's $14.99 today. I really like this because I can sell that in the antique mall and it's a really great style. Um, this kind of style sells pretty quickly. It's no label or anything, but it doesn't need one. But it's super cute and uh, I'm tempted to get this. Oh wait, look, it used to have a belt attached. Look at that. You see that? It's been cut off. No, I don't want it. That's going to make me nuts. I'm not going to spend 15 plus a coupon on that, but I like it. But knowing that they used to have a attached belt that's been cut off, I would never be happy with that. Okay, I really like this vintage skirt, handmade. It's probably from the 70s. Uh, I just love this. And that's perfect for a vintage show or for the vintage mall. And it's not expensive. It's $7.99, so... It has a lot of look, it's super cute and very wearable. It's heavy though, it's knit, so this is for the fall. It doesn't appear to have any holes in it, so when you're doing vintage, that's a big deal. So I really like that. This I really liked, but I think I'm gonna leave it behind. It's my vibe, it's my style, it's the kind of stuff I like to sell. It's woolen cashmere. You can why, but it's 20 bucks. And I think I found some flaws on the back. I think that's why we wanted to leave it. Oh, yeah. Look. Yeah. Is it the bins or something? Sure, I would guess. But it's a shame. There's nothing wrong with the person who wants to take the time to make this wearable again. Because it certainly is. I'm just not that person. I don't do anything but basic repairs like dry cleaning or putting buttons back on. Um, I once reassembled something. But it's really cute, and for it's woolen cashmere, Hong Kong, so that's the 80s. But condition, have to leave it behind, as cute as it is. Makes me sad. This is a really cute uh, custom-made or handmade dress from the 60s, but there's no brand. 
and then the style is not so special someone's gonna buy this um, $13 but again another black dress if I need something. so I have one skirt with me today so one skirt and it's super cute oh and these boots I'm looking at these boots I've been wanting some Timberlands and I wanted to use one so they'd be broken in but these have a heel on them like I've not seen before so I'm not sure about those um, I really wanted temper lenses in case there was an issue like a like an accident or something where I had to go run for my life or <laughs> aliens invaded you know what I mean um, and I wanted uh, something like for an earthquake or just something like that and so I don't know if having a heel on here is a good thing or not. But the price is right for $25. i have been looking for these on Poshmark, but not this style. And she's our final shelf to the wheel. But they are my size. So I'm thinking about those and the skirt. And that's it. Well, that's all she wrote here at the Goodwill. Um, yeah, it's so hot. I'm not feeling well. I'm going to get back in my car and get home in the cool. But I'll just show you a few things while I'm here. Um, and that's it. If you haven't joined, please do uh, subscribe. <laughs> click the button to see when I'm uploading new videos. And just thank you for following my journey. Uh-oh. We found a hole. You know what I'm going to do? I'm leaving empty-handed. Yep. I'm leaving empty-handed. And that's it. Bye.